provinces and the provinces merged. And you have 21 such mergers. And the dates of the agreements are on the left side. 1148, 1148, 1248. This is after Malat's January 20, uh, before January 26, 1950. This is important. This didn't happen with as far as JNK is concerned. Malaz. Now, this is now one part. Now, kindly come to the next table. That is statement showing area and population of states constituting central administered territory areas, which were the chief commissioner's provinces. Now, you see here, there's no question of any Malat's um, merger. No question of any merger. It was directly administered. And but through merger agreements. Now these, uh, just for a factual clarification, these centrally administered areas, uh, what was their status under the Government of India Act? Were they, uh, they were treated as chief commissioner's provinces and they become centrally administered areas. Yes, correct, correct, correct. Now come to the third. These were princely states, Malas, which actually went to the unions. These are princely states, Malas, many of them. Kindly see, Malas. Manipur, Tripura, Bilaspur, Kutch, Haroch, Chamba, Mandi. These are all princely, Raja of Mandi. These are all princely states that merged into the Chief Commissioner's provinces, which are termed as Chief Commissioner, directly administered. Then the third statement is those which no. constituted unions. That's right. Now so they these, formed yeah. a union of more than one of the. Uh, now, states. this is important, Mullers. Kindly see how the merger agreements here, only five. Now you'll see Malad item one, uh, 22, 22 units, as I told your lordships yesterday, in Saurashtra. Then Malad's Jodhpur, Jaipur. This was called originally Rajputana, which included all these. Then you have 15648, Madhya Bharat. Lordship is that? Madhya Bharat. Then 2848 Patiala, East Punjab, Union Travan, uh, and then Travan Court Cochin. This is 552. Total 275, grand total 552. So you have, therefore, the Chief Commissioner's provinces. You had the province, uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, princes merging into the provinces. And you had these five states, all through merger agreements, no exception, except Jammu Kashmir. Because that was not, that was not conceived in terms of 370 itself. Now kindly come to 373 minutes. This is also important. Maybe it's 373. Three. Now, now what in these in these five provinces called the Union of States, what were the kind of notifications issued, Mullers? What were the kind of proclamations issued? Your lordships will find at 370. Three onwards. So this 552 was an addition of 216 plus 61 plus 275. Correct. 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 Yes. Correct. So now if your lordship comes to PDF 373. Now. You see that Raj Pramukh of Union of Patiala, East Punjab states, 
सौराष्ट्र ट्रेवन को राजस्थान मध्य भारत रूल ऑफ रूल ऑफ हैदराबाद माइसोर जम्मू कश्मीर आर पब्लिश दिस इज द प्रोक्लेमेशन वॉट इज द प्रोक्लेमेशन से लास्ट पैराग्राफ आई नाउ हेयर बाई डिक्लेयर यू लॉच इफ हैज दैट माई लॉच हैव दैट It says, "I hereby declare that that the Constitution of India, shortly to be adopted by the Constituent Assembly, shall be the Constitution for Patiala, East Punjab, as well as other parts of India, and shall be enforced as such." Come to the next one, brothers. Each of them, brothers, had the same proclamation. Each of them, and all that happened prior to 1950, except Jammu and Kashmir. and you'll find that at 379 mallets sibul and see if you sibul do you think it would have been a unilateral action or it was sorry i can't hear it was a it was an action on its own or it was something which was the government of india at that time and sure that it happened obviously the government well, obviously the obviously they sure that it happened there was no question on on its own well, that it would never happen like that so some of them couldn't exist independent so, yeah but this would be argument on that then we move on yeah. now now well, let's look at pdf 379 because all those proclamations are different from the proclamation kwe jammu kashmir which is mallets 25th november 1950 Before Mallers, the 26 January uh, 1949. Uh, proclamation is the firman of the uh, Nizam as well. The Nizam you find at page 377. Yeah, but the language is different. But the language is different. This was certainly not voluntary. <laughs> of course not. Of course not, Mallers. Uh, I agree. This is what my, I, I responded to, my lord. But Mallers, the language is different from Jammu and Kashmir. so keeping you probably in jnk keeping at that time the political environment it was something different was something different. that's all that i'm that's, saying that's my that argument we have, we have understood that argument yes, and therefore it was incorporated in these terms in the constitution which was not done by anybody else which only shows to you that merger was never contemplated except in terms of 370 <laughs> all the others became mallets through these proclamations part of these states and and then became part of b states mallets all these states became part of b states jammu kashmir mallets were not it was the only state excluded from part